What up, players? It is Warboss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to an unboxing and assembly video of the Blood Angels Captain and Tyranid Gene Stealer Broodlord from the Deathstorm boxed set. These are limited edition, which means that you really can only get them through that boxed set. I don't know if they re release the Blood Angels Captain as a clamshell pack, um, but they, I think one of the, the perks of getting you know, this huge set was that you get these two exclusive models. They were really big at the time. Their first experiment was with using the um, the orcs and the space wolves. You get two exclusive figures with that kit. And um, I don't remember what that one was called, but this is from the Death Storm kit. You know, we're taking a look at the instructions. And uh, it shows you really clearly how to assemble the models. I actually did a video clip of the Tyranid Broodlord frame looking at the frame reviewing all the pieces but unfortunately i can't find it so uh it just kind of skips to the assembly part of that but um we're gonna actually start with the blood angels captain so that we can show you the frame and go through my assembly and cleaning so here's the frame i'm actually going to take you through and look at and count up all of the blood angels iconography because with every chapter every chapter of space marines is really really proud and when they can they festoon their armaments so here we go one on the gauntlet uh that's just a regular scroll on the back of the leg but there's one on the the joint guard there's a blood drop in the skull there's a blood drop on the hammer the chalice for the iron halo a blood drop in the center of the breastplate there and the cape is surprisingly free of adornment but it's not a full cape it's only a half cape that connects to the strip strip of cloth on the shoulder there You've got blood droplets on the uh, little leather pieces hanging down from the tabard. Blood droplet in the combi bolter. And blood droplet on the leg armor. Two of them. So lots of Blood Angels iconography, which is the winged blood drop. Now, as we get to cleaning and or clipping out the model and cleaning it, one tip that I want to really, really encourage you guys to do is to always clean your models. I'm using the back of my hobby knife and every once in a while I will use the blade to uh, scrape the mold lines off and any extra flash. What I'm using is Model Master's liquid cement. It, I found that it, it's really good at creating a long-term hold and uh, I actually flip between this and the uh, Tamiya um, cement or it's not really cement it's like plastic glue so as you can see I started with the legs on the base and that's to create a nice solid foundation and then I'm doing the breastplate there's two halves the front and the back and okay I got a little screwed up here I thought the head goes into the back part of the Terminator armor and it just wouldn't fit the front piece of the armor wouldn't fit right there you can see it so I actually took it out I put the front piece of the armor and when you look at the directions it doesn't really tell you I don't think it really states it clearly enough that you put the two pieces of the the armor together and then you just stick the head in. So I did that and then I... Oh. Sorry about that. And then I uh, glued the torso onto the legs. And now I'm clipping out the rest of... The armor pieces and so yeah you really want to clean all the flash in the mold lines sometimes I do it before I assemble the armor sometimes I do it after I've glued all the pieces together and I'm just looking at the model to see what areas to clean up it's really up to you either way it works as long as you clean up the model at some point okay what I'm doing now is I'm drilling holes into the bolter sometimes I use my pin vise my drill and sometimes I just stick the tip of my hobby knife in and this is a more dangerous way to do it because you're pushing with both sides and you don't want to hurt yourself you don't want to jab your hobby knife into your thumb I've done that a couple times it's not good so always better safe than sorry this is just kind of like a do as I say not as I do kind of thing if you're a new hobbyist or you're not really used to putting models together do not scrape towards yourself with the hobby knife because you, you can cut your thumb really bad any of us who have been doing the hobby for any amount of time will have done that. And uh, I always say, better safe than sorry. Scrape away from yourself. You always use the back of your hobby knife. If you use the blade of your hobby knife, you are going to gouge plastic out of your model. It's not so bad with uh, metal models, but plastic models is just really easy. 
Okay, this is the part of the sculpt that I dislike the most. It's the cape, where the cape meets the shoulder part of the cape because it's really easy to just smudge. So that's the only part of the model I wish they'd done a little bit differently. Now I'm putting the little joint guard in. It's a shield with a blood drop on it. And I'm just slotting it into the sleeve there, or into the that joint where the shoulder meets the armor. And there you go. Your Blood Angel's Captain is completely built up. Great, easy build, easy to put together. I kind of wish that they released this as a as a character pack because it's so great. It's got such great detail on it. Like, look at how ornate it looks. It's just really beautiful figure. And now we're going to the Tyranid, the Broodlord has this decorative base that we're going to clip out. In this one, I decided not to clean the mold lines until after I glued everything together. So you're going to see some flash. And again, I'm using Model Master's liquid cement. Uh, you can see the little trick I do is I put a strip of tape on the back of it, some clear tape, and I put the two little wire uh, nozzle cleaners in there that you get with the, the thing, because I've always, I always used to lose them. So... Uh, I just stick them straight to the, the, the paint pot now and I'm able to keep them. The Broodlord is a little bit trickier to assemble because it's got a lot of small pieces that are kind of finicky, like the, this tongue here that I'm going to be putting into the mouth. It's got a slot into both sides and uh, so you kind of have to glue it into one half of the mouthpiece and then put the other half on. And now I'm putting it into the head, holding it for a couple seconds. You just want to make sure it aligns. The The worst feeling in the world is um, holding up two pieces together to glue and then thinking you've got it and going away and letting it dry for a couple of hours and then you come back and you see it's out of alignment. Here I'm dry fitting. If you don't have your instructions in front of you or you, you're kind of unsure. You, you don't want to put the glue on first. You kind of want to dry fit your pieces together first just to make sure you have a good fit. I've, um, I've, I've made some pretty janky models in, in the beginning of my hobby because I uh, thought it'd look cool if one Space Marine is running forward and his leg is up in the air and then <laughs> I just glue it together and by the time I, it dries I realize, oh, I should have probably tested this pose out. Now with the Broodlord, you've got a bunch of different claws that fit into the hands. So I'm putting those all together. And I think I also lost the second half of this clip, unfortunately. So um, everything went together pretty well, though, all things considered. I cleaned up the model. And just remember that if, if you don't have the instructions in front of you, you want to turn the model around as, it's, as the glue is drying to make sure that the arms are at the correct position you want them to be. Kind of tricky with a model like this where you've got four arms and they're all angled differently and different sized, but really it's um, good to, like I said, dry fit and just make sure you've got your angles right. Beautiful model once it's all built, very savage, very gruesome looking, and I can't wait to paint it up. So thanks for watching this build video, you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.